This is the plaintiff, Amina Hosseini. She says her father rented a home from the defendant, and when they moved in, the water was brown and dirty. The landlord had it tested, and it was determined they would need to change the filter every month. When they moved out, the sneaky defendant deducted the cost of the testing and the plumber and some other unfair things from their security. And she's here to fight for her rights and a full refund of the $1,159.48 that a defendant owes her. This is the defendant, Raymond Shalou. He says he lived in that house for 18 years and never had a problem with the water being clean. He told the plaintiff if she wanted to get it tested, she'd have to pay for it, and she agreed. The tests proved the water was indeed clean and pure. When the plaintiff moved out, she clogged up the septic system with grease and sludge. He deducted the cost to fix this problem, and the water testing owes her nothing and feels the judge will side with him today. He's accused of keeping too much. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff's dad rented a house from the defendant, and the water was brown and dirty, and she had to pay for the filter. But the defendant says the water was good from the get-go. It's the case of how now, brown water? You, Douglas, welcome, okay. Uh, Amina Hosani? Hosseini. Hosseini, you yes. are uh, representing Sia? Yes. Okay, your father? Yes. Here today in this lawsuit against the landlord for a return of the remainder of your security deposit. Uh, the landlord is Raymond Chalou? Yes. Okay, and you kept $1,159.48 of the security deposit for damages that you say they are responsible for. Let me hear from uh, you first, Amina. Go ahead, Ms. Okay. Hosseini. So I'll start out with the... Um the solar bill that was on there. Okay, so you rented a house. Yes, that we rented. To him. How long were you living there? We rented from August of July of twenty second of two thousand seventeen to August first of two thousand eighteen. Okay, and during the time that you lived there, did you have any complaints? There was lots. Okay, one of the complaints you had was when you first moved in, the water was brown. Yes. Do you have a video of that? Yes, I do. Okay. That I put into I think evidence. We have that. Okay. This is your video? Yes. We should water the game. That was in the water every month. What am I looking at there? So that is the, the filter thing that went onto the, so it's br it's dark because it's filled the with- cup The cup that's on the top, what is that, a cup? Is that a, the thing that looks like a cup with a jar? That's where the filter goes into it. Okay, so you pull it out and it was full of that yep. soot that you're showing. So, so that, that filter on the bottom, it's not supposed to be that dark, and then the stuff that still pours out of it after the filter's out. All right, so uh, when you first move in, you ask to have the water tested because you're seeing the water to be very uh, w w that video was taken afterwards, though. That's not. Yeah, that was one of the. You don't have a video of the water and the color that it well, was. Well, I have the pic one of the pictures that I put in. Yeah. This was like when you would open the faucet, the br the water would be this brown. May I see that picture? Sure. And in here are text messages from Mr. Chilu that he had Mr. Rob Anderson coming to look at it. Who is Mr. Rob Anderson? That's me, Your Honor. Okay. Are you, and what is your relationship to him? Oh, he's my best friend. Okay. So you do get it tested, correct? Yes. And what do you find? Do you have the results of the testing? Yes, I do. May I see it? May I say something about that, that film that she yeah. showed before? Yeah. That's a sediment fil a filter. That's to take the sediment out of the water so right. it doesn't go into the faucets and wrecks the faucets and the toilets and stuff like that. It's supposed to look like that. Parameters analyzed are below the drinking water maximum contamination levels established by the Connecticut State Health Department. All right, so that takes place on September 3rd, 2017. Um, you don't move till when? We moved out August 1st of 2018. Okay, did you ever once between September 3rd of 2017 and August when they moved out, ask them to pay for this? Yes, I told Mr. Anderson if she ever asked for... To, Why Mr. Anderson, is he your property manager? Yeah, more or less. Come on up, front and center. Okay, go ahead, what were you saying? I told him, if she ever asked, you know, wanted to see the, the, the results of the test and stuff that she had to pay for it because she agreed to pay for that. She had agreed to pay it? Yes. Who had agreed to pay it? She did or her father? She did. I always talked to her. I you never talked talk to her, her parents. Did, so according to you, she agreed to pay for the water test? Yes. Did you agree to pay for a water test? No, I did not. Okay. Do you have any proof that she agreed to pay for the water test? 
No, it's just verbal. Or, There's no or text or emails or anything else? No, we're just speaking over okay. the phone. Okay, what did you want to add there? Me and Mr. Chilu always spoke over text. As you can see, I have every single document, like, conversation we had. So if, if that was, if that's what he's claiming, then that should be in the text. And that's nothing in the text. Okay, so now the next thing that he deducts is what? He deducted for the um, plumbing. So, because you had complained that there was a water leak. So there was literally, I think there was four leaks while we lived there. Okay, since there's okay. so many leaks, why don't we do this differently? What leak are you now saying they should have to pay for? This one. When they, Hold on. The December, December 9th, I think it was, I got a, a text and showing me pictures of a leak downstairs in the utility room that okay. the pipes were leaking and stuff. So I called up my plumber. And I asked him if he can go out there and fix it. He went there on Monday. He filled up the tub three times and drained it. He turned on all the faucets in the house and stuff and let them run and stuff. And he stayed there for an hour and a half and didn't find any leak anywhere. Tenant complained of mystery leak above boiler. Inspected all piping and found no leaks. I believe someone used the bath shower and did not secure the curtain. That's the one that's for $132.94. Yep, that's that and that's from uh, a plumbing, all plumbing repair, yeah. correct? That's yes. the one that you're deducting yep. for. Okay. Was there ever a problem after that? After that plumber left, was there, did you have to call again because the leak continued or no? It wasn't the same leak again, but there was multiple leaks. No, okay, but do you know but that wasn't the only time that leak was fixed. I, that was the second I, okay, time. Okay, but I, I need you to slow down and listen a second hand. That to my bailiff and then listen right. to my question. That was his turn. There is a plumber who is asked to come out there, who comes out there December 11th, who says there's no leak. I think that they're just not you putting the shower curtain inside the shower. And my question to you is that means one of two things. You're not putting the shower curtain inside the bathtub or he's a bad plumber and it happened again later and he just couldn't find the leak. So if it happened again later in this same spot, show me evidence it happened again later. Do you have that? Not after that. Let's move on to a different issue. Um, you have also deducted $700 for what? The septic. When the new homeowners come and to the buy my house, they had an inspection. They inspected the septic system and they found that the the pipes leading out to the leach field was loaded with grease. And Why stuff. would the tenants pay that? Because they, they put grease down the drain. I got, evidence, I got evidence showing that when I had my, my septic tank pump prior to that, the pipes were clean. And now when did you have your septic tank pumped prior to them moving in? I think it was in the year of uh, 14. 2014. Yeah. They move in 2017. Yeah. Who lived there between 2014 and 2017? I do. Okay. So I think it's going to be really hard to figure out whose sludge we're talking about. Because the only one who knows is the sludge, and the sludge ain't talking. So how on <laughs> earth are you going to persuade me that that is their expense? That's something you had to pay because you wanted to sell the house, and the, the homeowners who were buying it insisted on it, the purchasers. Why would that be their problem? So can you drink brown water that goes through a filter? Is that safe? What do you say? I definitely wouldn't. That sounds really foul. What do you say? I mean, there, there are all sorts of things. I mean, they, they're using sewers now um, where they filter it. I think if in the area that they really necessarily need to do that, it's okay to do it. Is it safe? Uh, no, it's not safe. Really? No. I would then drink it. Well, it's amazing what they're doing these days, going inside the courtroom. What else did you deduct? The Solar City bill. Yeah. Um, do you have the bill that came in? Because usually those bills do refer to prior usage. That should be correct. Can I say something? Yeah. That I was okay with. I had okay. asked him multiple times to just okay. send me the bill. So let's, that, it usually it doesn't come that fast. That's part of the problem. Do you have it now, though? Yeah. Okay, let's see that. What All it was right. when I was selling my house that last month, it hadn't cleared through the No, I, I know how. I, I got it. Right. So the bottom line is that it's 16701, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, that is a letter from someone at Tesla to you. I would like to see the bill so that I know that the bill covers their usage. Yes. Do you have the bill? That I don't have because that's what Tesla sent me. What, what does Tesla have to do with anything? Tesla used to be, Sol uh, Solar City used to be. Uh, oh, this is from Solar yeah. City? 
Yeah, and Tesla bought Solar City out. What else? So Solar City, you deducted for the plumbing, uh, you deducted for the potability test, you deducted for, which was one hundred and fifty nine twenty fifty three. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have a right to do that. I think you have a right to deduct for the uh, electrical. I think you have a right uh, to deduct for the plumbing where there was no no leak. Um, and you know the water, you have zero evidence they agreed to pay for it, and I'm not gonna make them pay for it. Plus, you never once billed them in all that time. Um, the, 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 don't even get me started on the $700 for the septic tanks. That's ridiculous. They're not gonna pay for that. And uh, does that cover everything you deducted, those four things? Yep. Is there anything else he deducted? Those are the things he deducted. Okay. But my you question about yeah. the solar bill, that's not a bill. And I don't know if that's from the, that, the beginning of that month to the end of that month. So here's month. what we're going to do with that one. Okay. Um, I, I, how old are you? 28. What do you do for a living? I am a social worker. Um, where are your parents? Did they come? They did not. They both, they have a business and they had to work today. So I came. Okay. Tell them to be very proud of you and that they should send you to law school. I wanted to be a lawyer. Okay. Well, what are you talking about? You're 28. You're a baby. You have plenty of time. No, I'm a social worker now. I got Okay, my but you have plenty of time. You know how many social worker friends I have who became lawyers later? Yeah. And they became prosecutors, so they felt like they were still carrying the banner and stuff. There's all kinds of... Cool. Life is very long, and it can become very boring. So do whatever it is you want to do that fills your heart. Here's what we're going to do. She's right. So here's what we're going to do on the 16701. I want an actual bill. I don't want that. So you should be able to get it. I'm going to, I'll give you two weeks to get it. I want the right. actual bill that shows what their usage is. She's right about that. So assuming it shows what you're telling me, it will show $167.01. And, and, and if you do not give me the actual bill, that will also go back to them. I do agree with you on the 132. I do not agree with you on the 159. Nor do I agree with you on the 700. That's 859 here. What was the total of the security deposit? $3,200. Everybody agrees on that, right? Mm -hmm. How much total did you return? $2,007.53 he returned. Okay. Did he ever send a supplemental check for 11 something or whatever? He sent another one for the 30. Two ninety nine, I think it was okay, the remainder the, of that one sixty seven oh one. Okay, because he held two hundred for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. So he did send that. He did. So how so much total checks. did you get back? The two thousand seven. I have it on fifty three plus thirty what? Thirty two ninety nine. Okay, that correct. That's, that's correct. All right, I am ordering you to return to the plaintiffs eight hundred and fifty nine dollars right now. And then within two weeks, you will give me a bill for the electric. If it turns out to be correct, that is all you will do. If you do not give me the bill, then I'm ordering an additional $167.01. In other words, I'm only, I only believe that he should have withheld the electricity and the kind of frivolous plumbing thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't really, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, perfect lawyer. That's my verdict. Good luck, <laughs> folks, okay? So the plaintiff will get back $859 right now in two weeks, maybe more, maybe not, yeah. depending on if you send the bill yeah, to the I judge. Will. I will. I'll get it. Send You'll it do that? Him. You have it. So no, I don't have it, but I'll get a copy of it and have it sent to him. Okay. What do you think of the, the outcome? I think the $700 for the sludge in the, in the septic system, they should be responsible for that. Because I took care that. of the septic system. Yeah. I lived there for 18 years, yeah. and I never had a problem with grease or anything like that. Wow. They move in, and all of a sudden... The pipes are clogged. Oh, the judge doesn't, it looks like dirty water coming into the house, though, man. Yeah, but that's the sediment filter. That's supposed to catch the sediment coming that's in. I mean, a lot of sediment coming yeah. in, though. I know. It that's what like that is doing its job, though. Yeah, man. Thank God. Okay, thank All you right. very much. Right. Okay, you must yeah. sign some documents outside. Ms. Hosani, you should feel very proud. The judge gave you quite a quite a, a glowing uh, assessment. You ought to be a lawyer. Yes, I'll, I will try. <laughs> really? Maybe. I'll look into it. She thinks she'd make a good one. Well, okay. the student loans are racking up, so. Uh, all right. Good enough. You, you okay with the verdict? The plumbing I'm a little upset with, but well, it on. is what You're it getting is. most everything. Yes, that's are. true. And maybe more. Hopefully. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Harvey? Okay, well, look, the defendant did indeed send the correct bill, and the plaintiff had to pay 167 bucks.